Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the World of Juice Hoops channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Oral Roberts Dynasty here on March Madness 2005. We had quite the episode last episode. We played the Mid-Continent Conference Tournament where we were the three seed. And let's just say some frustrating things happened and we didn't win the tournament. But if a few things would have changed, we very well could have won that tournament. So to summarize things, we were the three seed. We played against the six seeded Southern Utah, whatever their name, their team name is. We beat them. We then moved to the second round and we played the two seeded Valparaiso. Crusaders, I think is what their nickname is. We lost by a point to them. They had like an eight point lead or a 10 point lead in the second half. We chipped that away, chip, and brought it back to a one point deficit with like 20 seconds to go, 15 seconds to go, whatever it was. But we were trying to play the foul game. It wasn't working. They missed their free throws with point four seconds to go and we lost the game i couldn't get the ball the inbound to the right guy i don't even know if i would have gotten to the right guy if i would have had time to take a shot and if that shot if i did have enough time to take the shot would the shot have gone in i don't know it's there was a whole lot of things going against me in that episode in that game but we lost in the second round to valparaiso they go on to the conference championship and they don't even have to play the number one seeded oakland team because Oakland lost to Missouri, Kansas City, the five seed in the second round. So it was Valparaiso, the two seed, versus the five seed Missouri, Kansas City. And obviously Valparaiso wins. They go to the tournament and do whatever they want to do, the NCAA tournament. But if just think, if we would have beaten Valparaiso and gone to the conference final, the conference tournament final, we could have won the tournament in year number one. It's possible. We could have done that. Because I, I have a good feeling we would have beat Missouri, Kansas City. But it, it's it's whatever. It's year one. We did a lot better than what I was initially expecting. I was thinking we were maybe like a 10-win basketball team, something like that. We're just going to have to ride out the bad losses and just take our lumps in the first round of the, of the conference tournament. But we played a lot better. We won 15 games in the regular season and obviously got our 16th win when we beat um, Southern Utah in the first round of the tournament. So a 16-win basketball team in year one of our dynasty is very, very promising. Now, as you can see, we are at the beginning of the offseason. I have to click that button. If you're unfamiliar or you don't remember who won the NCAA tournament, it was Syracuse. They beat Miss Mississippi State in the national championship game. We are going to be losing one of our key pieces. That is Luther Davis. He is a senior. He's gone. But our recruiting has been so awesome this season that we are bringing in some big boys if I could find the guys that are committed to us so we're bringing in a two-star point guard Jason Kelly we're bringing in a two-star point guard Enu Finley we're bringing in a two-star center in Derek Jarrett who's seven feet tall you can't teach that we're bringing in a 6'3 shooting guard in camera or a one-star 6'3 shooting guard in Cameron Lawrence we are bringing in possibly a couple other guys, but I don't think we have enough scholarships for that. A 6'7 small forward in Sean Burton. He's only one star, but 6'7 small forward's a lot of length. And then a 7'3 center in Dennis Kern. We also have Kevin Holmes, who's 6'6. Yeah, so we're bringing in quite the class. They're only two star and one star guys, but that's going to be a lot of useful talent to the team. So I'm hoping that they're actually going to be good. And I think that we're going to be good because we got Montez Sutton hopefully returning. We've got Isaiah Walker hopefully returning. We got a lot of boys. Franklin Scott. So I'm excited for season two. But let's let's get this offseason started. Let's begin the offseason and see what happens. Like I said at the end of the last episode, I have no idea how this offseason is going to work. I haven't played a March Madness 2005 Dynasty offseason in a long time. So let's talk about PDAs first. We've got a message from the AD. He says, Campage Challenge Points. Uh, the season tasks have been updated and added to the campus challenge. Okay, let's view that. So, player scores 750 points in a season. We only had 350. Okay, so... Player average a double-double in a season. Leads the NCAA in scoring. Oh, okay, so we didn't get any of this stuff except for player makes an all-conference first team. 
That's the only one we got so far. Okay. That's all right. We got 650 Dynasty slash Campus store points. If we can get some more, we'll certainly get a couple of these. I, I'm assuming we'll get, uh, we'll get the NCAA tournament bid. We'll get the ranking at some point. We'll get ranked. I don't know if we'll get ranked number one. I'm hoping we do, but I don't think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll definitely get ranked at some point. Uh, we'll definitely make the tournament. We'll hopefully win a conference championship. I don't know if we're going to win the Mountain Invitational anytime soon. But we got a chance, and hopefully we'll win co Coach of the Year as well. But that's a few extra things. It's just year one, remember? Well, now it's year two. Beginning year two. So this is the verbal agreements. The next one is players leaving. So that's going to be like Luther Davis and all that. So verbal agreements. Let's click on the first one. Seven scholarships available. Oh, this is when we can sign the players. Okay, so perfect, perfect. We have seven scholarships. I want Derek Jarrett for sure. I want to sign this recruit. I want... Uh, let's see. Kelly's our highest ranked recruit so far. I want Jason Kelly to sign. We have five recruits left. I obviously want Inu Finley because he's our only other two-star recruit so far on this list. Uh, let's see. I want... Sean Burton because he was that 6'7 guy. I want Kern because he's the 7'3 guy. I want Lawrence. And I guess we can sign everybody here. We might as well get Holmes as well. So those are all the signings we're going to make. I guess. Maybe I should have waited because there's a whole lot of stuff here. So Let me simulate this day. What's going to happen here? Is there anybody else added? I don't know how this works. Verbal agreements. Are there going to be other players added, or is this just the same? Okay. So let's simulate a couple of days and see if anybody new has been added. I don't think anybody new has been added. No. So we're just going to have this recruiting class. That's a fine recruiting class for year one. It's nothing crazy. Three two-stars, a couple one-stars. Once we get a little bit of better program prestige, we'll obviously be able to get some better... Uh... Ooh, what's this? Congratulations, the Mountain West has extended an invitation for Oral Roberts to replace San Diego State for the upcoming year. Are we ready to go to the Mountain West? Oh my god. Do we go to the Mountain West Conference this year and replace San Diego State? I mean, they obviously value us enough to offer us an extension and to replace a team. So, I think we should, I should, I think we should take the invite. Except, we are now a Mountain West conference team we're moving up in the world welcome to the mountain west congratulations on your school's move to the mountain west we look forward to watching your team's progress let's go i didn't expect that to happen i thought we were going to have at least two or three seasons in the the mid-continent but we got ourselves a mountain west contract i'll take that players leaving luther davis graduation reggie reynolds graduation Henderson graduation, Christopher graduation, and Anderson graduation. We knew all these guys were going to be leaving because they are all seniors. Obviously, nobody's going to the NBA. That's just not what happens. <laughs> we're not good enough for that yet. Luther Davis is sad. I'm, I'm sad seeing Luther Davis go. He was one of my favorite players from season one. Any Buckeyes? Where are the Buckeyes at? There we go. So we got going pro. Number 34. Who's number 34? Is that, uh, is that uh, Terrence Dial? Is that Terrence Dial? Is that his name? Graduating point guard number 10. Oh, is that Stockton? They had a Stockton, didn't they? I think they did. I can't remember this team. <laughs> One of these two centers is, is Luther, uh, or not Luther, uh, Terrence Dial. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. Did that, uh, where's that uh, Gonzaga player? Did he go pro? He won the player of the year. Did that, or was it Florida player? I, who was it? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Are we going to get any transfers? I didn't even think about that. Uh, Got to get to the G's. There's Kentucky. Number 24 is going pro. Only one Kentucky player going pro? It's kind of crazy. But we are, like, right on the, the verge of Kentucky being great. Right, like, the previous. So, I'm assuming their player of the year didn't go pro because he's not on here. They had a number 91 overall center. Unless that's the... Is that the pro or that the player of the year i don't even remember who cares <laughs> where's florida at florida center shooting guard power forward two guys going pro all right whatever dog whatever so that's all of our players leaving we knew that was going to happen is it the same players leaving i don't think anybody would have like transferred right how do i know when we've gotten a transfer <laughs> if we get any i don't even know 
All right, so our guys are going to be leaving the, the team. It's a sad day. Uh, what happened? Something taking a while to load. Did it freeze? Okay, there we go. Woo! I got scared for a second. <laughs> All right, so we've gotten through that. So now what happens? Uh, recruiting recap. Oh, is this just, oh, this is just telling us who the top classes were. So UCLA had the top class in the nation. They had four six-star recruits. Save some for the rest of us, dog. <laughs> View the signings. This should be just ours, right? Yeah, okay, here we go. So our highest-ranked recruit was ranked 904 in the uh, the nation. But, I mean, we're at, hey, we moved up to a two-star. Oh, no, that's, this isn't a two-star. Uh, I was looking at the caliber. I thought we moved up to a two-star program. I think we're still a one-star program, if I'm not mistaken. I can't. Oh, no, actually, that's two-star. I know you can't see it uh, underneath our name right there in a the logo. I think that's two stars colored in. So, hey, I'll take that. Two-star prestige. What else is included in this uh, offseason? What is this? Round Ball Classic. What the heck is the Round Ball Classic? Play the Round Ball Classic, I guess? West All-Stars versus East All-Stars. Oh, is this like the recruits? Oh, I don't want to play that. I don't want to play with recruits that I'm not getting. I'm just going to make me sad then. <laughs> that's just going to make me sad that I'm not playing with the recruits. Can I see the box score, though? I guess I can't. Alright, whatever. Let's keep simulating. It goes super fast <laughs> in the offseason. And then we'll get to, I guess this this says recruiting, so we'll get to it. Recruiting. Alright, recruiting. Week one of five recruiting. Interested prospects. Ooh. We've got a, what is this, a five-star prospect interested in us? Uh, hello, sir. Please. Yes, please. Yes, daddy. Uh, scout the player. Pitch type is coach prestige. Yes. That's probably what we want. We want to give me all the prestige. So we're going to recruit you. Call, the, call by the assistant. Yes. I can't believe that there's a, a five-star guy interested in us kind of awesome I don't think there's any guys that are number one interested in us like the higher star guys Abe Harrell 6'8 power forward we'll scout him we'll call him and we'll pitch type give him the the coach no the playing time because he's a three star guy he's going to get playing time he's probably going to be our starting power forward uh, we'll go for you as well we'll scout you we'll call you by both the guys you know what we're going to go crazy here we're going to visit him and we're going to call him by the assistant coach. And you're going to give him coach strategy. So we're recruiting these guys. We might as well just go for all the top prospects. And why not? We what do, what do we have to lose? <laughs> what do we have to lose? I don't know if we're going to be able to sign any of these guys. Because we don't have any more. It says we have zero. Uh, we have zero scholarships available. So I don't know if we're going to be able. Is this for next season? Or is this guys that haven't signed yet? They haven't. Cho chosen where to go yeah i don't know but i'm gonna do my best to get in the running for a few of these guys if we can scout we'll visit him we'll call him we'll give him location yeah yeah, yeah location and i might as well go for guys that are very much interested in us who else is down here there's a couple one stars we don't need any more one stars we got enough one stars might as well just go for all the guys that are super interested in us. And I, I might as well spend some more points. I didn't realize I was going to have enough points. So we'll spend all our points on all these guys. Why the F not? What are we going to use these points for? <laughs> Alright, let's buy all that stuff. Keep using the points. There we go. I thought we were going to have more people to, to use the points on, so... Oh, already bought all that. And then Claret. Lavar Claret. Is it Claret? I'm sure it's Claret, not Claret. Claret. Alright, so let's uh, keep moving, I guess? <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. Am I going to be able to get those guys? PDA. One new message from recruiting. Malcolm Towns. Everyone would love to see Malcolm Towns wearing Oral Roberts colors. I would too, yeah. 
Uh, sure. I don't know who who Malcolm Towns is, but I'd, I'd like to see him wearing Earl Roberts colors. I hope he's good. Recruiting. Interested prospects. Have we changed anybody's mind? William Arnold. I don't know who that is, but he's higher up here now. Uh, who's this Malcolm Towns? Can I see where he's at? Malcolm Towns. Who the heck is that? Malcolm Towns. Is he going to be in top prospect? Oh, this is all prospects, so. Malcolm Towns. Where are you at, my guy? Malcolm Towns. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find him here. Who cares? We'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's keep moving on. Uh, we'll get up. Simulate this day. Simulate this day. Oh, we got some more messages. What do we got here? Two new messages from recruiting. Assistant coach Russ Clay. Latest recruiting scouting information on Russ Clay has come down. Coach, he wants to play for our school, for a school of our prestige. Okay, that's good, that's good. He was going to skip college, but his parents won't let him. <laughs> Poor Russ. But that's good, that's a plus on our side. He wants to play for a school of our prestige. And then scouting report on Lawrence. Okay. Uh, Lawrence Brantley, he'll need to work on his court vision. He's a shooting guard, that's okay. His attitude and academic record have really impressed us. Rumor is he may declare for the draft. We have him staying. Okay. So he's a 6'5 shooting guard that might declare for the draft. I respect it. Very interesting. Uh, we'll simulate this day. We got more messages to talk about. Four. Scouting report on Abe Harrell. Oh, nothing new. Okay. The scouting report on Eddie Thomas. Eddie can get up and down the floor... Uh, down this floor well his speed is above average okay he has a good head on his shoulders with no missteps i like that so that means he won't be getting any violations <laughs> oh wait this says he signed with bing what the heck's bing <laughs> eddie was going to skip college but his parent will who's bing what what abbreviation is that <laughs> abe harrell what's that message say he got back to oh okay he got back to this edmund crumb i don't remember this guy he was going to Super College. He's really interested, interested in the way our team is coached. I like that. I like the sound of that. I want that five-star. <laughs> that five-star was interested in us. Not all the way, but he was. A little bit. I want a five-star prospect. Talk about taking us to the next level. Three-star Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Brantley. Work on his court vision. His academic. He's thinking of going pro. Our coach prestige doesn't interest him. Okay. Well, screw you, Lawrence Brantley. You don't like my coaching prestige. Up yours. What's this message going to say? One message from Eddie Thomas, or about Eddie Thomas. He goes up the floor well. No missteps. Parents won't let him <laughs> skip college. The, uh, good. I want to see a message where the parents say that they're going to let him skip college. Let me skip a couple of days into recruiting, see what happens. So we got... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We got these messages. I don't, we're doing all this. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get these guys. Like, I don't know how many... I don't think we have any more uh, scholarships. Unless I can, like, take away somebody else's scholarship. Can I do that? <laughs> can I, like, get rid of one of our guys that we already have on the team? And give the give one of these guys a uh, scholarship? I don't even know. This guy says signed with Oral Roberts, Lavar Claret. It says that he signed with Oral Roberts. Okay, I like I like that. Is that good? Does that that mean he's here? Signed with Oklahoma. Oh, that's the five star, Jess Clemens. It signed. It said he signed with Oklahoma. Oh, that's annoying. Oops, I didn't mean to go back to the same thing. Man, I was really hoping we'd get that five-star. I don't know why he was interested in us, but... Hold on, let me let me go back to the signings. Do we have new signings? Finley... Oh, there's Russ Clay. And there's Claret. Yeah, we do have new signings now. We added those guys to the team. So we had a couple more two stars. Well, that's cool. Uh, coach options, recruiting. 
week two of recruiting. Interested prospects. Okay, so all the top guys are still are not interested in us. Lawrence Brantley is the only guy that is at the top of our interest, or we're at the top of his interested schools. So we'll see if he accepts, and that would be our first ever three-star prospect. I guess we'll wait and see. We will wait and see if he signs with us. Let's simulate the second week of recruiting. We got some messages. One from... Okay, one from recruiting. Oh, it's my, Malcolm Towns. Who is this guy? He's only a one-star? I don't want him. <laughs> why Why is the the alumni trying to get a one-star? We already have a bunch of one-stars. Is, is this your kid or something? <laughs> why are you trying to get him to, to go to Oral Roberts? I don't want him here. We got enough one-star recruits. But what's I say? I'm hearing rumblings amongst the alumni about your inability. What are you talking about? I don't understand those messages. I'm recruiting like crazy. I don't understand what the problem is. More messages. Another one from the AD. Don't let a rival school take away interest. Bobby Coleman. I don't remember who Bobby Coleman is. I don't think we have any more room on the roster. <laughs> Uh, what's this? Ooh, what? Oh, this is like red shirts and off season training. Oh, no, this is, uh, I have no idea what this is. More messages, AD on scouting. And then we finish up scouting, I guess? Or recruiting? Is that it? We all done? V training results? Anybody go up in overall? Jarrett. So this is our shooting. He's a 48 overall. Scott's now an 81. Thompson's a 51. Isaiah Walker's a 79. He's got an 86-3. Sutton's a 74. Clay's a 50. So is Finley and Kelly. All right, so we still got some pretty low overall players, but maybe we can do some damage. I don't know. So our best three-point shooter by far is Isaiah Walker. Then a little bit of Sutton. None of our recruits can hit threes, though. <laughs> Great. What about offense? So our offense awareness, Scott's obviously the best. Sutton has the best passing, obviously. Ooh, Johnson has a little bit of passing. Okay. Nice big power forward. What about defensively? We have another blocking stud. Jarrett, aren't you the 7'3 guy? No, that's the other guy. That's Kern. He's 26. You're 7'3. I'm pretty sure he's the 7'3 center. Maybe it's Jarrett. I don't remember. Scott's got 96 defensive rebounding. Okay, conditioning, any speed. Sutton and Walker obviously have the best speed. Thompson's right up there. Conditioning, shooting, okay. So I think this is going to be the same stuff over and over again. You chaining results? Does anybody go up even more? No, I think this is just like the same stuff. Okay, let's go to, this is red shirting. So let's go to red shirting. Cut, redshirt, reorder. Okay. So we got a 48 overall player in our 7-foot freshman Derek Jarrett. Scott is 81. We're keeping him, obviously. We've got a couple really bad players here. Oh, we've got two guys over the limit. So we have 12-man roster, and then Burton and Holmes are over the limit. Yeah, Kern was the 7-3 guy. Okay. So let's see how many positions, how many players we have. So we have... We have ourselves our center in Derek Jarrett and our other center in Kern. So we have two centers. That's fine. We have, obviously, our starting power forward in Franklin Scott. And then we have Johnson as our backup power forward. So we have two power forwards there. We have our starting small forward in Thompson. And then we have Russ Clay. And we have Claret. So we have good small forward depth. We have our starting shooting guard in Isaiah Walker. We have his backup in Lawrence, so that's good. We have we have uh, bodies there. We have Sutton obviously as our starting point guard. We have Finley. We have Kelly. Yeah, we don't need these two guys. Let's uh, let's let's cut the boys here. <laughs> how do I? How does how does one cut? Cut redshirt reorder. How do I how do I do that? Rosters cannot exceed. Extra roster spots will be cut. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I want yes, I want these two guys to be in the bottom. So we're gonna accept. Continue. Sorry, uh, Holmes and Burton, you guys are gonna get cut. You didn't make the team. You suck. We recruited you. 
promised you something, promised you the world, you're going to get cut. Sorry, boys. It's not personal. It's just business. Do you wish to simulate past this date? Rosters cannot exceed 12 players. Extra roster spots will be cut. Yes. I have the two players that I want getting cut. So that's perfect. And is that the... Yeah, start the next season. So we're ready to go. We're ready to go. The off season is over, I guess. Ooh, schedule time. Okay, okay. So we've got Idaho. We've got Nicholas State. Nickel State. Moorhead State. NC. Oh, that's right. We're in the MAC. Oh, no. Or not the MAC. We're in the Mountain West. Uh, USC's on the schedule. Oh, no. This is... Oh, no. We play number rank, uh, number 11 U, or, uh, number 11 Air Force. BYU. Oh, no. I shouldn't have joined the Mountain West. Uh, but we're a three-star strength of schedule. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's a W. That's a dub, 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 dub. Can I play the Ohio State Buckeyes? I want to play the Ohio State Buckeyes. Uh, remove Chattanooga. I want to add the Buckeyes. I want to add them at the beginning of the season, though. Give me the Buckeyes. Give me the Ohio State University. Where they at? Where they at, though? Where they at, though? Uh, uh. Where they at, though? Where they at, though? We should probably also play, like, Gonzaga or Florida or something just to kind of bump the strength of schedule up. Where are you at, Buckeyes? Come on. Stop messing around here. There you are. The Ohio State University. They have agreed to play us on November 30th, 2005. I will accept it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Ohio State University. Can I remove another game? I want to remove... Get rid of... Frickin... St. Mary's. <laughs> no, get rid of... I don't, I don't want to... I can't get rid of these. These are all uh, conference games. Get rid of... Get rid of NC State. Nobody needs to play NC State. Let's play another big boy team. Let's get crazy. Let's get absolutely crazy. Who do we want to play, though? Who do we want to play? Do we want to play Florida? That'd be quite the game. We can play Duke. They're 24th. <laughs> uh, there's Florida. What are they ranked? They're 20th. We could play Gonzaga, I guess. Or I guess we could play the defending champs, Syracuse. Let's ask about Gonzaga. Oh, oh they rejected us. <laughs> they rejected me. Let's talk about Florida State then. Or not Florida State, Florida. They rejected me. What about... What was the other one? Duke. Ooh, Duke has agreed. On November 17th, we're playing number 24 Duke. All right, let's go. I think that's going to be fine. We need to have games that we can win so we can still have a good positive record. <laughs> but uh, adding Ohio State and Duke into the, the schedule is pretty fun. So let's accept that. That's quite the season right there. <laughs> that's quite the schedule. Now I'm a little bit more terrified. We got a big butt. We got a blue blood coming into the, the team. And, oh, we have to go to their, their place too. I didn't realize that. All right, ooh, begin season, school budget. What's the school budget look like? So we have recruiting and discipline. Oh, I need to put a little bit more into, into discipline <laughs> because we were getting suspended a whole bunch. So let's uh, let's drop this down to 55% and move this up to 45% or 44%. That's a little bit better. <laughs> we, were getting, we were getting suspended a little bit too much. There we go. Okay, we got the team. We got the 12 players. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Begin season. This is the last chance to edit your roster or school budget. Uh, yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, let's go. Enter training camp, sim training camp, skip training camp. Uh, sim training camp. Ooh, look at that. We've got the boys Duke on the schedule. And the Ohio State University is on the schedule, too. I'm scared. We got PDA notifications. Uh, coaching staff. Training camp results. Anybody go up in overall or anything? No, 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 no. I don't look like it. That's all right. Any more messages? Nope, just uh, messages from the coaching staff. Delete that. All right, we're good to go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So the bracket. We didn't get an invitation to the Maui Invitational, so that's that's a little upsetting, but whatever. They want to leave us out. Keep hating. Keep hating on the boys. Recruiting. I want to get some. Uh, I want to get some three star, four star, five stars. Give me some boys. Here we go. Augustine London. Let's get right in. Let's get stuck in on this guy. I'm sending him the whole package. 
What's this? What's happened? Oh, invite him to a game. Uh, invite him to... Invite him to Tennessee Tech. Watch the game. Let's go, dog. I want to get the boy. Come to... Oral Roberts. How do I get higher ranked prospects? I don't want a bunch of two-star guys. Come on, what are we talking about here? I can't even see how good somebody is. Kano Law. What a name. Kano Law. We're going to invite him to the George Mason game. We're going to watch the game. We're not going to offer him a scholarship just yet because we only have one available. So we could have possibly a couple of big time players coming in. Uh, let's let's go to all prospects. Hello. I want a six star prospect. I really do. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really do want a six star prospect. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a six star prospect, but I want a six star prospect. I want like a six star small forward, Theodore Newman. Let me scout the boy. We're going to invite him to a game. He's not interested in watching your team play at this time? Well, screw you! Up yours, Theodore! Who else wants to come to, to Oral Roberts? None of these guys are going to be interested, obviously. But I want another player. Okay, well, we'll scout a couple six-star guys just for fun. <laughs> just for funsies. Is there any way I can see the lineup? Can I change my lineup? Coaching options, stats central, campus challenge, school management. Is this where I can change it? Reorder roster. What does that mean? Select player. Oh, this is where I can start. Okay, perfect. So we got Sutton at point guard. We got Walker at shooting guard. Small forward's going to be J... Uh, what's his name? Thompson? I forget his first name. Franklin Scott and then Derek Jared. Do I want... I might. I kind of want Kern to start because he's 7'3". But Jarrett's a 48 overall. He's a 42. Let me let me start him at, at center for right now. Maybe some good things can happen. I don't know. But obviously we're going to have these two guys. These guys are going to have to carry us along with Scott. So our three veterans are going to have to carry us this season. Three... Uh, whatchamacallits, our three uh, upperclassmen are going to have to carry us. But that's going to be the it, it for the episode, for the offseason episode. We brought in some new recruits. They're not very good, but it's just year one recruiting. They're a couple two stars, a couple one stars. We'll see how they play during the regular season. We got some big games coming up in the next, in the next episode. We've got Duke and the Ohio State University that we have to play, plus USC. I'm, I'm kind of like overlooking them, but we got to play USC as well. So we've got some big matchups to take care of in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. We are on the road to getting Oral, Robert, Aubrey, Oral Roberts to dynasty mode. To what? To dynasty mode? To prominence is what I wanted to say. We are getting Oral Roberts to prominence. I don't know how this season is going to go, but... We can only beat the teams we're supposed to beat, like Nickel State, Moorhead State, and Idaho, and Morgan State, and George Mason. And maybe we can upset 24 Duke. Probably not. Maybe we can upset Ohio State. It'd be crazy. But not only that, we're in a new conference. We're in the Mountain West. I can't believe it either. We're going to find out how that's going to go. <laughs> Who knows? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.